You guys seen that new Netflix documentary, You Are What You Eat? The one with the twins. Yeah, so they have these twins, and they say, oh, one of them eats a plant-based diet, the other one eats a normal diet, and look, at the end, the one that ate plant-based is, like, so much healthier, but now a lot of people are pissed off because they dug deeper by the funding of this whole documentary, and boy, they found some shit. So there's this billionaire, Kyle Vogt, and he's in San Francisco. He bought the biggest house ever in San Francisco. He is a vegan. He invests in fake meat companies. He's made a lot of money doing this, and all of the research for this Netflix documentary came from this Stanford plant-based diet initiative. That's literally what people found out it's called, so, like, that's pretty biased right there. And there was this professor, Christopher Gardner, who, like, led the eight-week trial on these twins. Now, first of all, this dude is a vegan, so that's a huge issue. And then people found out the Stanford plant-based diet initiative was started from a grant from Beyond Meat. We literally have a situation where these companies making a processed food, which is fake meat, are funding research in groups called the Stanford Plant-Based Diet Initiative, what research do you think they're going to do or what conclusions do you think they're going to come to? And then Kyle Vogt is the one who puts the money towards these documentaries at Netflix. And there's been a few of them. Game Changers, he was behind the Game Changers documentary. And what they're doing, in my opinion, this is just my thought, they are basically wanting to sell people processed food. They're realizing a lot of the grip on processed food is slipping out of the hands of these big conglomerates because people know. They know, like, McDonald's is bullshit. So, like, okay, what can we do? We can mix together seed oils, wheat, and gluten. The only way you could convince people to eat those is if you can convince them that it's way healthier. Mm. And then the money comes in, and you're like, okay, let me fund a documentary that says it's healthier. Let me fund a whole research lab at Stanford that says that it's healthier. You put those two things together, and that's why you see that shit at stores. It's crazy.